So at this year's Minecraft Live, we saw a new biome, the Pale Garden, and a new mob in it, the Creaking, alongside the blocks that come in that biome that was pretty much it. I know many people were disappointed with how much content was shown at this year's Minecraft Live, but quantity isn't actually the problem I want to focus on here. This new biome, the Pale Garden, has some glaring issues. And so I'm not going to waste any time and just get right into the first one. And that's that you have absolutely no reason to ever encounter a creaking in the first place. This new biome has very little incentive for the player to go there. You can get a new wood type and a new block that summons creakings, and that's it. But the problem is that you can get both of those things during the daytime. So why on earth would you ever go into a pale garden at night and deal with all of the creakings in there? The answer is most players wouldn't, there's just no incentive to. And I hope this is something that will be fixed in the future, because this is something that we typically see with Minecraft updates when they're first revealed. For example, when we first saw the Trial Chambers at Minecraft Live 2023, they had no unique reward there. One would of course be added many months later, but this isn't a full-length update like that. This update is set to release in a few months, according to the developers. So the concern that nothing else will be added to this biome and update is a valid one to some extent. That being said, how could players be incentivized to go to this biome at night and experience it with the challenge? Because the whole system with the creaking and how they spawn from the trees is a very cool mechanic. It's a very unique challenge that we haven't seen anything else like in Minecraft. So the first and most obvious way that players could be incentivized to go to the forest at night is by giving the creaking a drop. Not just something decorative like a wood set, but ideally something that will actually be useful and functional to the player. That way the player will have to brave the forest at night if they want whatever this item is. That being said, I think there's a much more interesting way that Mojang could go about adding incentive to go to this biome at night. And that is with a structure. Say when you're exploring the forest during daytime you come across some old ruins in the middle of it. Since it's the biome's vibe, they feel kind of eerie, but you don't really see much of interest there. But, well, when you go to those same ruins at night, just as the forest comes alive, the ruins also come alive. Not literally, but maybe there's some new part or some new blocks in the ruins that generate only at night, or maybe some part of the ruins that you can enter only at night. And then there are also some chests with unique rewards that can only be opened during nighttime. Perhaps there could also be a new mob that roams around the area. But this is an idea that I think is a really solid one, because Mojang is clearly trying to be unique with this biome, and, well, this structure could do exactly that, while also keeping very well in theme with the biome itself, of it just being kind of eerie and lifeless during the day, but then at night things get creepier and a lot more interesting. A structure like this would be a perfect way to go about that. Not to mention, it adds a lot to a biome by giving it a unique structure. I mean, ideally, all biomes in Minecraft should have some kind of unique structure at least. That significantly enhances Minecraft's exploration by adding more uniqueness to certain areas. More reason to go to a specific biome, and this could do just that for the Pale Garden. I mean, after all, Mojang is supposed to kind of have higher standards now when it comes to adding new features like mobs and biomes, where earlier it was just normal if they added a new empty biome like the desert or the badlands with pretty much nothing in them other than like a unique block or two, sometimes a new wood set, but clearly Mojang's standards have risen over the years significantly, like with the nether update making that very clear, biomes having more unique content to them is kind of part of that. And so, on that note, when looking at the biome and the footage that was shown of it during Minecraft Live, there's just something that doesn't look very good about it. Maybe that's just me, but 
I feel like there should be some more detail in it, like some unique plants or flowers. Ideally ones that aren't the same shade of grey over again, maybe ones that are black or white also, just to mix things up even a little bit while sort of maintaining the atmosphere of the biome. Or maybe even some orange plants since that's kind of like the secondary color of the biome. Because right now it pretty much is just a desaturated dark oak forest with a mob in it and some vines and moss. So. I definitely think it could stand to gain some more in the visual aspect. Still, although this biome may be somewhat lacking in incentive and visuals, I still really like the idea of how it shifts in atmosphere from day to night, and also the mechanics with the creaking are very cool. Although a lot of people definitely left this year's Minecraft Live very disappointed, and I will be making a video more about the show itself and some of the problems with it, so if you want to see that, keep an eye out on the channel. And getting back to the update itself, I was kind of hoping there would be more for me to talk about and go over, but there really just isn't, that's kind of all. And the other content drop, the Bundles of Bravery, releases with Hardcore Mode and Bundles. Neither of which are really new things, I mean, Hardcore's been on Java for like forever, that's just for Bedrock now, and Bundles have of course also been on the experimental toggle for many years, so yeah. And also without the mob vote, we now don't have anything else that's known to look forward to. The mob votes definitely had their problems, but they did at least provide a little bit more hype and content for Minecraft Live. Still, I look forward to whatever is next, so I hope to see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day, and goodbye.